Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Samuel James Gado. And today, let's talk about uh, kinematics, rectilinear motion. Motion, branches of mechanics, we have kinematics and dynamics. Kinematics deals with the description of motion, while dynamics deals with the relationship of motion to its causes. Description of, of motion. Motion is a continuous change of position with respect to specific frame of reference. A frame of reference is a point in space or an object that you assume has a fixed position. Description of motion. Distance and displacement. Distance is a scalar quantity which refers to the total length traveled or how far an object has traveled during its motion. While displacement is a vector quantity that tells the position of the object from its starting point or which is the change in position. Speed and velocity. Speed and velocity are similar in quantities that they both describe how fast an object moves. Velocity is a vector quantity that specifies how fast the magnitude and what direction an object moves. Speed specifies only how fast magnitude and object moves but does not indicate its direction. Okay, so speed natin is speed is scalar and velocity is vector quantity. Now, what is average speed? Average speed defined as the distance traveled is divided by the time required to travel the distance. By formula, it is V is equal to D over T. Okay. Average speed, average velocity, the so same name formula, which is D over T. Instantaneous speed, the reading on the speedometer. It is the speed of the vehicle at that very moment. Average velocity on, of an object during a some time period is the object's displacement divided by the time. All right, acceleration tells how fast an object or a body changes its velocity. Okay. Acceleration of the body is the rate of which velocity is changing. If a body's velocity is v sub zero at the start of a certain time interval t and v sub f at the end, then you have the formula acceleration. Acceleration is equal to uh, final velocity minus initial velocity all over time. And take note, if V sub F, okay, if the final velocity is greater than the initial velocity, we have positive uh, acceleration. Okay? So it means accelerating. Right? And if final velocity is less than initial velocity, so we have negative A, or decelerating, all right? Okay. Linear motion, motion in one dimension, rectilinear motion, motion of the body in a straight line. Types of rectilinear motion, so we have uniform motion, body covers equal distances at equal interval of time or moving at a constant velocity or a constant speed in a straight line. Note, Velocity is constant and acceleration is zero. So that is uniform motion. Uniform accelerated motion, wherein velocity changes at a constant rate. Okay. Take note, it is accelerating, but the acceleration is constant. So we have the summary of basic formulas for rectilinear motion. We have number one, A. We have D. Or distance is equal to average velocity times time. That is distance formula. Number two, average velocity is equal to initial velocity plus final velocity all over two. Number three, again distance. So din derive lang siya, no? Since yung average velocity natin, ito. Ito yung unang formula, di ba? Average velocity times time. So ito yung average velocity natin. So we have uh, initial velocity plus final velocity all over 2 times time. 
okay? Number four, acceleration is equal to uh, final velocity minus initial velocity all over time. Number five, final velocity is equal to, okay, the iteration na derived sa number four, yung number five natin. Kaya yeah, final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus acceleration times time. Number six, uh, V sub F squared is equal to V sub O squared plus 2AB. And seven, D is equal to V sub O times T plus AB squared over two. So those are those are basic formulas for uh, rectilinear motion. Okay. So here is the problem number one. What is the acceleration of a car that goes to 60 kilometers per hour in 10 seconds? At the same acceleration, how long will it take the car to go from 60 to 80 kilometers per hour? So number one natin. Hanapin mo natin acceleration. So A. So in 10 seconds is equal to what? Convert natin now. Oh, one. That is equal to 3,600 seconds. Ilan yung 10 seconds sa uh, R? Cancel na yan, yung unit na S. So we have 0 0.003 R. Okay. Okay, kasi yung given natin dyan is do sa velocity is kilometers per R. So ngayon, compute natin acceleration. Formula for acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity over time. That is equal to what? 60 kilometers per hour minus 0 kilometers per hour. Okay. Over yung time natin which is yung 0 0.03 over 0 0.003 hours. Okay so, okay, so A is equal to, so divide natin, no? so 60 divided by 0 0.003, we have 20,000 kilometers per R squared, okay? So, yung yung acceleration. Okay, so makukumpit na natin yung time. So, hanapin naman natin yung time from initial velocity which is 60 km per hour to 80 km per hour. So, yung formula natin, time is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity over acceleration. So, that is, yung final natin doon yung 80 km per hour minus 60 kilometers per hour over yung nasolve ganina natin sa acceleration which is 20,000 kilometers per hour squared. Okay? So we have 20 kilometers per hour okay, over 20,000 kilometers per hour per hour squared. Okay? So, yung time natin dyan, okay, maka-cancel yung unit na tayo na kilometers, no? Kasi mangyayari dito, yung unit natin dito sa denominator, which is yung kilometer per hour, per hour squared, ay magre-reciprocal. So, maka-cancel natin dyan yung kilometers, tapos isang R. So, may matitira pa tayong R. So, we have 0 0.001 R or in... Seconds, we have 3.6 seconds, okay? So, yeah. Problem number two. A car starts at rest and acquires a velocity of 30 meters per second in three seconds. Letter A, find its acceleration. B, the distance traveled in the first five minutes. Number 2 natin, okay, yung V sub O natin doon, yung initial velocity is 0 meter per second. And final velocity 
is 30 meters per second. Okay. Yung T sub 1 natin is 3 seconds. Then, T sub 2 is equal to 5 minutes. Okay? Yung 5 minutes natin dyan, in terms of seconds, we have 300 seconds. Okay? So, formula natin, ang hinahanap natin doon sa letter A is yung acceleration. So, acceleration is equal to uh, V sub F minus V sub I over 3, uh, over time, over T. So, that is equal to three uh, 30 minus 0 over 3. Okay, so acceleration natin dyan is equal to 10 meters per second squared. Okay, next naman is yung distance. So distance is equal to initial velocity times time plus 1 half a t squared. Okay, so that is equal to 0 meter per second times time natin which is in 3 seconds plus 1 half acceleration natin makamplete natin kanina we have 10 meters per second squared times okay yung time natin 5 minutes naman no? in 5 minutes so we have 300 seconds squared okay so, this is 0, right? This is 0 na yan. So, we have 1 half times 10 meters per second squared times, okay, square natin yung 300. We have 90,000, 90,000 S squared. Okay, so calculator natin. So, distance is equal to 450,000 meters. Cancel lang unit na S squared natin dyan. Or, in kilometers, we have 450, 450 kilometers. Number three. What is the acceleration of a car that starts from the garage 0 meter per second and reaches 30 meters per second after 6 seconds? Okay, number three. Given natin, initial velocity is equal to 0 meter per second. Final velocity is equal to 30 meters per second. And yung time natin is 6 seconds. Okay. So, acceleration yung nahanap. Acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity over time. So, that is 30 minus 0. So, wala namang problema sa, sa units natin, no? So, in terms of seconds tsaka meters. So, walang problema dyan. Over 6. Okay, so 30 divided by 6 is acceleration is equal to 5 meters per second squared.